Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and we are now answering question number 17 from this paper 2, variant 1, from May, June 2020 for the IGCSE Cambridge exam. This question is about vectors, part um, question 17a, part 1. Um, pretty simple. It says the vector m is 5, 7. So given in column vector form, find 3m. You simply multiply this vector by 3, so you have to multiply both the horizontal and component and, and vertical components by 3, so it's 3 times 5, which is 15, and 3 times 7, which is 21. So the vector is 15, 21, that's the vector 3m. Okay, so it's the same direction, but 3 times as long. Then it says v to w is 10, negative 24. Find this, what, what this means the magnitude of this vector means the length of the line. <coughs> so this vector v to w is actually looks something like this. You go 10 units to the right and you go 24 units down. So the actual vector will look something, a sketch of it would be something like this. This would be the, the vector here. This is the vector, this would be v, this would be w, and this would be the vector 10 negative 24. So you go like 20, 10 units to the right and 24 units down. So by Pythagoras' theorem, this is going to be the square root of 10 squared plus 24 squared. You don't have to worry about the negative sign because it's going to get squared anyway. So it's just basically using Pythagoras' theorem. So you see a question like this, all you need to do is square the, the, two, the two numbers, add them together and find their square root. So this looks like actually a... Um, 5, 12, 13 triangles. Let's have a look. So 10 squared um, plus 24 squared. Okay, so it's going to probably give me 26 because 5, 12, 13 triangle. Yeah, 26. Okay, this is going to give me 26. <coughs> and there's the answer for number 2. Uh, part 2, sorry, for 17. That's A part 1 and 2. And now we're going to go on to part B. Okay, so part B says... OABC is a parallelogram. Okay, so parallelogram means this side is parallel to that side. And this side is parallel to that side. Okay, that's very important. Why? Because that means <coughs> this vector is parallel and equal to that side. So <coughs> this line CB is parallel and equal in length to OA. So this will also be the vector P. And from A to B is parallel and equal in length to O to C. So this will also be called the vector Q. Okay, that's why that's an important word in this question. It says O to A is P and O to C is Q. <coughs> e is the point on a, <coughs> on a B such that A to B, A to E, the ratio of A to E to E to B is 3 to 1. So this would be three parts and this would be one part. So altogether there's four parts to this line you could say. Find O to E in terms of P and Q in its simplest form. Now O to E if you think about O to E, you're going to go from O to A, and then from A to E. Okay, so from if you want to go from O to E, you have to go from O to A, and then from A to E. That will take you from O to E. You have to start at O and end at E. Now, we know that O to A is a vector P. All right, we can see that. Now, I know that A to E is in the same direction as the vector q, which is a to b, but it's some fraction of it. What fraction is a to e of a to b? Well, it's three parts out of four parts in total. a to b would be four parts, a to e is three parts. So a to e is three quarters of a to b. And as we just stated, a to b is the same as the vector q because this line is the same length and parallel to O to C, because this is a parallelogram. So A to E would be 3 quarters of Q. So now we know what to put here. O to E is going to be O to A, which we know is P, plus 3 quarters of Q. And we have our answer, which we should write in our answer space, P plus 3 quarters Q. You should underline your vectors. <coughs> in, in print, they're in bold type, and when you write them by hand, you should underline them. That's the, the right format to write them in. So that answers this question number 17. 
Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area over here at the end of this video. Other questions from vectors from IGCSE will be in the video that appears in this playlist here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.